Austin Roos is a father and head of CFAM, and he and his wife now say no when Girl Scouts come to the door trying to sell the popular cookies. The Girl Scouts really have no business partnering with the largest abortion provider in the world. Uh, Girl Scouts, as the largest voice for and advocate for girls across the country, uh, know that girls grow up with very complex issues facing them. And so we do, across the country, tackle the issues of human sexuality and body image and all of the things that girls are facing. And uh, we partner with many organizations. We have relationships with our church communities, with YWCAs, and with Planned Parenthood organizations across the country to bring information-based uh, sex education programs to girls. Bruce is reminded of Girl Scout event at the United Nations where Planned Parenthood hot, happy, and healthy sex education brochures were placed. And that got us going on this particular issue. And then we discovered that there was some very creepy conference that the Girl Scouts in Texas put on with Planned Parenthood, which dealt with much of the same issues as the Healthy, Hot, and Happy brochure. So there's just a lot of evidence. As my wife said, there's something really rotten going on here. Not buying the cookies is one way of not supporting the Girl Scouts, which has seen reduced enrollment in recent years. Roos points out there are other Christian-based organizations for girls, such as American Heritage Girls. I'm Charlie Butts.